All right, guys, we're out here today. Today we're going riding. Got all my gear on. I'm gonna hit the track. We're at Waco Eagles MX. I bought the thing, or I brought the thing for my helmet mount, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. My first couple of laps, I'm just gonna go out and roll everything real quick. See how it feels. I haven't been on a bike since I was in North Dakota, so this should be should be pretty interesting. We're running VP110 right now, and we're gonna go to U44. Uh, yeah, this guy smells like bacon when it comes out. We'll be going to U44 once we burn this thing. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna get my helmet on, get out on the track. I will see you guys in a second. Maybe my dad will film for me here in a second. All right, guys, so I just got off the track about 10 minutes ago, and we the exhaust pipe off of here, so now we got it wired together, because, of course, pretty much wires and zip ties fix everything, right, Dad? Yep, duct tape, wires, zip ties. Yep. And, uh... He's about to go back out on the track. It is extremely hot. Like 100 plus at least. But this is like the best training time, right? Oh, sure. Yep. For sure. And they got a pond right there to go swimming in. So. Yeah, it's got fish in it. I'm kind of mad because I didn't bring a pole. I didn't know it was here. They should have put that in their description, obviously. But. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get a couple of shots of him riding. I doubt he got any shots of me. Am I correct? Yeah. Oh yeah, your Kickstarter? Keeps on falling down and it'll hit your leg. It's kind of annoying. I wonder why it's doing that now. I don't know. You need a new one. <laughs> uh, the track's really, really sandy and dry so it makes it really really slick kind of like riding on ice how'd that work out for you He didn't let it warm up at all, and it's not jetted to be down here. He needs to slow down. Okay guys, so you just missed that. My dad just pulled in and he, he was having some bike troubles and he was like, man, my bike feels like it's dying around every corner. So we're sitting there looking at the bike and I was like, well, it looks like it's running really rich. And then he goes to start it again and I look at it and I'm like, you got your choke on. So for those of you guys that don't know, when you ride a dirt bike, turn your choke off when you start riding because your bike won't ride right. Now it's running okay. He's about to hit that section. They're just little small tables, but... Hmm, this section, see if he goes for the doubles or if he just bypasses them. I'm gonna need a little bit more speed than that to double it. <laughs> Friggin' goon. He needs to tap third. But I'll check back in with you guys when I'm riding. I just thought that was kind of funny.
This is why I get here at 7 o'clock in the morning. Getting here by 6.30. Getting dressed and ready to ride by 7 is oh so important. No. You just deal with the heat and not be such a little wuss. I work in the heat all day. I work at night. Yeah, I work during the day. Stand on the bleacher. What do I need to stand on the bleacher for? Start it. When you're not 5'4, you can stand up on the bike and start it. <laughs> Mom's gonna watch this video. <laughs> here but pretty much we've done a good bit of riding for not riding at all in the past long time so my dad's out on the bike right now we went and checked out the arena cross track it's really overgrown not really what you want it to be for going out and riding but the big tracks nice I'm doing a lot more than I was you know before I stopped riding when I was back in North Dakota um, a lot of that just has to do with the fact that I've been itching to ride for forever. That's what that has a lot to do with. Clearing most stuff that I wouldn't even have tried to clear back in North Dakota. Um, yeah. Clearing most 
40 to 60 foot jumps. There's a couple of bigger jumps out here. And the faces are real mellow and I gotta hit them in third. And I haven't been doing that, but... Yeah, my dad just tried to hit one of them. He landed probably a good 10 feet before before the actual downturn. But um, just wanted to, to check in you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment on the video if you know any other good tracks around the Waco or Central Texas area. Maybe I'll go ride them. Um, until next time, peace.